All rise. Judge Vunderby Court now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1001, Cooper versus Johnson. Thank you. You all may be seated. Okay, Mr. Cooper, you brought this case before the court. What's going on? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I brought uh, this case to the court because I'd like to put myself on child support. I'd like to see my kids more often. So you're putting yourself on child support to see your kids more often? Yes, uh, Amanda Johnson, my ex, has made it uh, difficult lately for me to see my kids. I, I thought that if I was on child support, it might be easier to um, have some kind of scheduled time that I can actually see my children. Okay, when you say she's been making it difficult lately, what types of things has she been doing? Um, she's been rescheduling when I come to pick them up. She's said that she's too busy and, and that, uh, that I can't hang out with them on the weekends. Um, she's just generally made it tough for me to see my kids. Okay. Why have you made it tough for him to see his kids? Your Honor, my ex-boyfriend has a new girlfriend and I do not like her. I do not like her being around my children. I think she's a terrible influence on my kids. And I know that if I give them more time with him, it's gonna be with him and her. And I do not approve of that whatsoever. Okay, so you're mad because he doesn't wanna be with you and moved on? That's what you're saying? No, I'm mad because he has only been dating this woman for three months. Now suddenly they're engaged. I think she's a terrible person and I don't want my children to be around her. This is about the well-being of my children. This is about the well-being of your children, but you don't like her. Do you even know her? I have met her one it's time. It's a yes or a no. Have you even met her before? Uh, technically, yes, I have met her before. Okay, so you met her one time. I know people who are friends with her. I've seen her. You know, on I'm not going to do this tap dancing back and forth with you. You're going to answer my question when it's very direct. So you've met her one time. Yes, ma'am. And based on that one time of meeting her, you believe she's a bad influence on your children? Yes, I do. Yeah, no, we're not doing that today. He should not have to come to court to place himself on child support in order to see his kids, especially when it's some, for a reason that has nothing to do with them. He's in a new relationship. Obviously, you're mad, and you're just mad because he is in that new relationship, not with you. And because you're mad, you're trying to hold it against him with his kids. Oh, no. That is nothing to that's do not with That's not how it works. Well, that's exactly what it sounds like. I mean, it, it's, that's what it sounds like, right? That, that's what it sounds like, Your Honor. Back. Yep. I don't want to be with him at all. No, you don't want him back. You just don't want him to be with anyone else. Thank you, Your Honor. That's what it is. I mean, that's what it sounds like. And you can roll your eyes and everything. You know, that doesn't bother me one bit because I can do it too. So... We're going to go ahead and start child support today. You are going to allow him to see the children. It's not a what if, I don't like her, she's a bad influence. It has nothing to do with that. You're going to allow him to see his children. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. And you understand that you're going to be paying child support, right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Now, how much money do you make a year? $48,000. $48,000. And... How old are the children? 12 and 14. 12 and 14. And who covers health insurance for the children? We have Medicaid, Your Honor. Okay, okay. So just so you all are aware, Medicaid is not health insurance. It's a benefit provided for, it's provided through the state, you know, to assist with the children going to the doctor and the hospital, hospital if needed or anything like that. So that, because it is from a state, Agency, you are going to have to pay it back to them, okay? Okay. And it's going to be included in your monthly obligation for child support. You understand? Uh, okay. Okay. So I have your gross at $4,000 a month, which brings your net to $3,050.01. So your child support obligation is $762.50. In addition to the Medicaid. So what happens is I have to take 9% of your gross and that's the amount that you would pay back for Medicaid. That's what the law says has to be done. So 9% of 4,000 gives me $360. So when you add the two together, comes out to $1,122.50 a month. Now, 
if you were to enroll the children into private health insurance, which I'm sure you can find something a lot cheaper than $360, your child support amount would go down. Okay. Okay. So you have the option to do that. If you have private insurance through your employer or if you want to enroll the children under something outside of your employer, you can do that. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? It, it does. Okay. All right. Do you all have any other questions for me? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Okay. Well, if there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I just want to go over what you all just saw in the case of Cooper versus Johnson. So Mr. Cooper put himself on child support so he is able to see the child more often. Well, under Texas law, you don't necessarily have to place yourself on child support in order to see your child. But in the event that someone does open up a child support case, it naturally gives them rights for visitation to the child. And you heard mom say something about she was upset that dad was engaged. That absolutely has nothing to do with his visitation of the child and or his child support obligation. Do you know of anyone who's experienced a similar situation? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure you comment below. You never know, their story may end up as a scenario on our show. After all, these kids aren't raised on air alone. Support Court with Judge Vonda B.